Jerry Rogers, JT Sports, back to you guys with another video. And I'm here with my Pittsburgh Steelers 2019 NFL record prediction. Predicting the Pittsburgh Steelers record for the 2019 NFL season week by week. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, I am a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. And make sure to like the video and subscribe. It's definitely, if you are a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, because, you know, I would like to have more Pittsburgh Steelers family on the channel because you know it's crazy how i'm a pittsburgh Steelers fan i have more baltimore ravens subscribers and fans on this channel than anything so i would love to have some pittsburgh Steelers fans on this channel as well since i am one myself you know and i'm going to try to be non-biased you know because a lot of people been hating on the Steelers, and you know this is a better team than what a lot of people are giving it credit for just because we lost antonio brown and Le'Veon bell i don't know why people are even still talking about Le'Veon bell you know we went the whole season without Le'Veon bell and james Conner was successful and you know i think a big reason for Le'Veon bell's success was the off the line you know and that just goes to show because you know Jalen samuels who was our four string running back going into training camp around this time last season you know this guy had over 100 rushing yards against what? Was it the Saints, I believe it was? Uh, He was our fourth, third string running back. And he had over 100 yards rushing, over 100 scrimmage yards during that Saints game. So that just goes to show how good our off the line is. And Antonio Brown, you know, he's just another good wide receiver that's just going to come and go from Pittsburgh. You know, a lot of good wide receivers come and go through Pittsburgh. It doesn't matter. We just keep on developing more good ones. So that doesn't matter. What it does matter is that we have a big, big test to start the season out. Week one versus the New England Patriots. And this is the toughest game we play all season. And, I mean, we struggle against New England. We struggle out Fox, bro. We beat New England last year, but by the skin of our teeth. And that game was not at New England. That game was at home. And, you know, Hinesfield at Pittsburgh is a very tough place to play at. But Foxborough is probably the toughest place to play in in all the NFL history, man. I mean, this is a tough place to play in. And we struggle at Foxborough. I'm going to go with the New England Patriots to get the win here. I mean, as a Steelers fan, I do believe we do have a fair chance to beat the New England Patriots. But it's at Foxborough, you know. And, you know, we struggle at Foxborough. Bill Belichick always seems to have the one-up on Mike Tomlin at Foxborough. So, you know, it always comes down to coaching. Can that coach, it doesn't matter how much talent you have against New England Patriots. It, talent doesn't mean a doggone thing. What does matter is can you outcoach Bill Belichick? And Mike Tomlin cannot outcoach Bill Belichick. And Mike Tomlin has been getting outcoached by Bill Belichick for years. So, you know, as a Steelers fan, you know, I love my Steelers. I do believe we have a fair chance of beating the New England Patriots, you know. But, you know, having to be non-biased, in my opinions, you know, I just don't think we'll be able to pull out the victory. Although I do believe we could, you know, it's pretty tough considering that this game is at New England and we struggle historically winning at New England. So week two, we play the Seattle Seahawks. This is going to be another tough game, but, you know, I'm going to go with the Pittsburgh Steelers to win this game. Simply for the fact that, you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, we're a better team than the Seattle Seahawks, and we're playing at home. And you have to be a Super Bowl contending team to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers at home. You know, you can't just be any regular team trying to beat Pittsburgh at home. You have to be a very good team. You know, no offense to Seattle, I do believe they will be a good team this year, but not this early on in the season because, you know, they have a rookie wide receiver and DK Metcalf, and it's going to take him a while to get going. You know, it normally takes rookie wide receivers – Normally until around like week 10 of the NFL season to fully start going, you know, that's when rookie wide receivers are at their best. After, you know, they get a couple of weeks under their belt, you know, they know how to prepare and, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, DK Metcalf, he, he's going to be good, but not at this point early on in the season. And I think Pittsburgh should be able to beat the Seattle Seahawks since it's at home. Week three, we played the San Francisco 49ers at San Francisco. This game may look like an easy victory, but it's going to be far from that. Pittsburgh is going to win this game, but, you know, this is going to be a tough game because the San Francisco 49ers are really improved, especially on the defensive side of the football. They got Jason Verrett. They also have a very good pass rushing core and Nick Bosa, DeForest Buckner, you know, and they also got, um, you know, a couple of other guys as well. They got Richard Sherman as well. So that pass rushing core is going to be, very, very 
good, you know, but the Pittsburgh Steelers off the line should be able to neglect that. And also, you know, the San Francisco 49ers, their receiving core, you know, I had my questions about them as well. And they're a fairly young team on the offensive side of the ball as well. So Pittsburgh should be able to win this game. So week four, before I get into the week four prediction again, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. A lot of NFL videos, NFL content daily. And make sure to definitely subscribe if you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan because I would love to have more Pittsburgh Steelers fans on the channel since I am one myself, you know, and there's more Baltimore Ravens fans on this channel than anything. So, you know, week four, we're playing the Cincinnati Bengals, another home game. Um, I do have us winning this game versus the Cincinnati Bengals, you know. I don't think the Cincinnati Bengals are going to be as good as the team as everybody thinks they will be, you know. And I think we should be able to win this game fairly easy, you know, since it is at home, you know. Week five, we play the Baltimore Ravens in our second straight home game, you know, this is going to be a pretty tough game since the Baltimore Ravens always play us really, really close, you know, um, this game is at home, you know, I think Baltimore is a team that could beat us at home despite them, they might not be Super Bowl contenders, you know, but I just think it's a little bit different since this is a rivalry matchup, you know, but I say that the Pittsburgh Steelers win this first game against the Baltimore Ravens out of two, um, week six, were on the road, Playing the Los Angeles Chargers now. Last time we played the Los Angeles Chargers, you know, the referees were blind. They were missing obvious calls, you know. They missed the false start that gave them an easy touchdown. And also they missed the key holding penalty that also gave them a touchdown as well. So they got a free 14 points on the board, which led them into, you know, coming from behind and winning this game against Pittsburgh, you know. So Pittsburgh would have had those penalties called, you know. We would have won that game, you know. But this go around, I think... LA Chargers win you know this is a very very talented Los Angeles Chargers team they're going to be better than how they were last season um even though they lost Tyrell Williams you know they have Mike Williams you know and also they are getting Hunter Henry back who is probably one of their best playmakers on the offense and also they have Forrest Lent coming back on the offensive line as well who should improve that offensive line so Pittsburgh they could win this game 50-50 shot you know either team could win but I'm going to go with LA just because, you know, they're going to be at home, even though they don't have a lot of home for the advantage. Big Ben has been known historically to struggle over the past couple of seasons on the road. Week seven, we have a bye week, you know. We get a rest up before we play the Miami Dolphins. A lot of people think this is a game that we could end up losing to the Miami Dolphins, you know. Um, since we historically over the past couple of years have lost to teams we have no business losing to. If we want to bring back some history, 2011 when we lost to Tim Tebow, I was in fourth grade when that happened. Um, that haunts me still. Still to this day, you know, um, two seasons ago, I believe it was, we lost to the Chicago Bears in overtime. Jordan Howard had that overtime touchdown. You know, Mike Mitchell act like he didn't know how to tackle a day in his life, you know. So that's a couple of, you know, historic upsets, you know, that Pittsburgh should have won, you know. But the Miami Dolphins aren't beating us. We're at home, and they're not a good team. And, you know, the Miami Dolphins probably are the worst team in all of football. No way that we lose to the Miami Dolphins. Week 9, we play the Indianapolis Colts. This game is another home game, you know. This game, historically, we have been known to, you know, be in, you know, the Indianapolis Colts. And we have had their number over the last couple of seasons, you know. And we normally beat them pretty easily, you know. This game, I think it's going to be a little bit closer than those previous matchups against the Indianapolis Colts. But overall, since this game is at home, I'm going to say that Pittsburgh pulls out the win here. It's going to be a little bit closer than expected, you know. But Pittsburgh is the better team than the Indianapolis Colts, and they should be able to win this matchup. Week 10, second straight home game versus the L.A. Rams. Now, this is a game that is going to be very, very hard to predict. Either team can win this matchup. This game is at Pittsburgh, but, you know, the L.A. Rams, I said early on in this video, you got to be a very good team. You got to be contending for a Super Bowl title in order to beat Pittsburgh at home. The L.A. Rams will definitely fit that build. They definitely fit that characteristic. And Pittsburgh's defense, they're going to struggle in this game because, you know, we've had the time over the last couple of seasons, you know, our defense ends up being very good you know we feel confident about our defense but then every time we face an elite offense you know or elite offensive minded head coach with a good quarterback you know we end up struggling the New Orleans Saints game was a good example of that I thought we definitely should have beaten the New Orleans Saints um just because our defense 
matched up really, really well with the New Orleans Saints offense. You know, I thought our defense could have played a lot better in that game, you know. And this is a game, you know, Mike Tomlin, you know, him being a defensive minded coach should be able to have a game plan, but you know, that never tends to be the case. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with the LA Rams to win this game, man. Um this game could go either way, you know. But I just think the LA Rams, you know, Mike Tomlin, you know, has had a history over the past, you know, struggling with teams that have Probably top five offenses in the NFL. You know, this game is at home, so, you know, it's there. We could win this game, but I'm going to go with the L.A. Rams. Um, I just don't trust our defense in a game like this, and this just goes to Mike Tomlin. You know, his preparations and games like this are really questionable because, you know, our defense looks very good on paper, and somehow we end up getting shredded. So, week 11, we play the Cleveland Browns on a short week at Cleveland. You know, this is a newly improved Browns team. Um, Vegas has them favored as the sixth best team to win the Super Bowl this year. I think they win this game here. We take a loss just because, you know, we're coming off of a tough game versus the L.A. Rams in the Indianapolis Colts, you know. And this is coming off of a short week, you know, versus a tough game versus the L.A. Rams as well. So Cleveland does have a good chance of winning this game here. Week 12, back on the road playing the Cincinnati Bengals. Have us winning this game here. We're going to mop the floor with the Cincinnati Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals are not a good team. They don't even have a shot of even stealing the game, in my opinion, against this Pittsburgh Steelers team. We 13 playing the Cleveland Browns again. This time, this game is at home. This is going to be a game that we win. We should be able to win this game here. Um, Cleveland is a talented team, but I don't see them beating us twice. Week 14 versus the Arizona Cardinals. I have us winning this game. A lot of people feel this is a game that, you know, Pittsburgh could lose since we always lose the teams we have no business losing to. But, you know, um, that could happen, you know. But I just think, you know, our defense versus that Arizona Cardinals offense, they have a lot of young guys and a lot of young pieces, especially on that off the line. I don't think that off the line is that good. And Pittsburgh should be able to win this game fairly easy. Week 15, this is a game that actually I could see Pittsburgh losing, but I'm going to say that we beat the Buffalo Bills. Now, the Buffalo Bills are not going to be a cakewalk. This is going to be a very tough team. They have a very good defense. They are improved on the offensive side of the ball, especially on that offensive line. They spent a lot of money in free agency, giving Josh Allen some protect some protection. And the wide receiving core is not the best, but it's a lot better than how it was last season. But we should be able to beat the Buffalo Bills. I wouldn't be surprised if we lost this game here. You know, this is going to be a very close game in my opinion than what people may be giving the Buffalo Bills credit for and you know I have us winning this game though it's going to be tough we 16 we play the New York Jets at New York this is actually a game that I think we will end up getting upset because you know it happens at least once every year you know and New York has a recipe to do so it's late in the season this team should at least be you know still in playoff contention not really eliminated yet but on the break of elimination you know so this New York Jets team is really improved you know Although they might not be as close to the team as the Pittsburgh Steelers are, you know, Pittsburgh Steelers are still the better team, you know. The New York Jets have a very good defense. They should be able to keep this game fairly close. And when you're playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers, you want to keep the game fairly close. You don't want Pittsburgh's offense to start getting hot and to stop rolling because then you have to come from behind. And that's a very tough thing to do against a team like the Pittsburgh Steelers. So you want to keep the game close. I believe the New York Jets can do that. And if they keep the game close, they have a good chance of winning this game and I do believe that they will win this game in week 17 we're at Baltimore how is losing this game I think we're going to split the series with the Baltimore Ravens so you know overall the record that I have for the Pittsburgh Steelers for the 2019 NFL season is 10 and 6 this is coming from a Pittsburgh Steelers fan given my non-biased opinion I think we could go from you know 9 and 7 you know at worst to you know 12 and 4 you know um, I think our schedule isn't really that bad. You know, we have a couple of tough games in there, you know, but overall we should be able to win the majority of those games. And 10 to 6 is a fairly, you know, solid prediction. I wouldn't be upset if we were to go 10 and 6, you know, 9 and 7. Some people had us at 9 and 7. I think 9 and 7 is pushing it a little bit too much, you know. We could go, but I think more realistically would be 10 and 6. Worst place scenario, we finish out third place or second place in the division, and we still go to the playoffs. Three teams in this division of Browns, Ravens, and Steelers are all three going to make it to the playoffs this year. So let me know what you guys think about my, about my prediction down in the comment section down below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.